Bass Pro Shops One Source. Brought to you by Global Outfitters Outdoor University. Somewhere out there, somebody is working with a gun dog. Surrounding a setter, poised for a pheasant flush. A lab swimming with a 15-pound Canadian goose. Now that's an adrenaline rush. Pack of beagles breaking down on a warm rabbit trail. A German short-haired pointer fetching up not one, but two failed quail. Hounds baying up a coon in an old hollow log. Somewhere, somebody out there is working with a gun dog. Welcome to Global Outfitters Go Gun Dog Training. I'm so excited to introduce you to the, the host of this new segment, Mr. Rick Flippin and his companion. How you doing, Rick? Nice to have you here. Oh, Sam, it's a pleasure to be here. Tell us about your dog. Well, this is a, a British lab, a fox red color, and uh, his name is Chief. He's going to be working with us for the next uh, few segments. Well, we look forward to it. Now, our goal here is to help you produce a great companion, a reliable gun dog, using quick, simple, and pleasant training methods. Sam, about two years ago, I began looking for uh, a system of training that all gun dog uh, handlers could actually learn to train their own dogs. Uh, it was something I've been searching for, trying to find something that's simple and pleasant and easy, all of those things. And I met a guy named Robert Milner uh, in Tennessee at Duck Hill Kennels. That's where I got my dog chief. And I noticed Robert was exploring the science-based training methods, mm -hmm. and it's called operant training. And in that operant training process, I noticed what I liked about it right away was that there was no force used. You didn't need an e-collar. You didn't need a choke chain. Uh, there was no yelling. Um, not any force of, of any kind used, and these dogs were actually performing all kinds of desired behaviors, and anybody could do it. A 14-year-old kid can do it. And so operant training, really, there's only two styles of training out there. There's force training, which we've been doing wrong for many years. It's basically just forcing the dog to do something. It's like when you, you'll tell the dog to sit. What do you do? You tell him to sit, and you squish his back into the floor. You're forcing his back mm -hmm. in on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, when you're trying to get a dog to heal, what do you do? You put a choke chain on him and you jerk it and you say, heal. That really makes him want to be next to you. Well, that just didn't make any sense to me. So I got with uh, Robert Milner at Duck Hill Kennels and uh, began taking some pages out of his training book. So Rick, in essence, it all comes down to obedience. So tell the audience what we're to expect over the upcoming months on how to create a great gun dog. Well, you're exactly right. It all does come down to obedience. If you think about it, a dog sitting in a duck blind, it's quiet while birds are falling, guns are going off, all these distractions. It's cold, but the dog is quiet. Um, that's a, a, an act of obedience. He's not, that's not an innate uh, behavior. That's something that we have to train into the dog, and we're mm -hmm. going to do that. Um, a dog that's going on a walk up out in a bird field, you've got a, uh, birds that will be flushed, birds that will be falling. You want a dog that's under control and, and by your heel, uh, right at your side. So what you're trying to do is you're looking to get a dog that is totally under control, and the way that you do that is by obedience. And I'm really happy on to be able to put this package together over the next few weeks or months on this uh, on this program because here's what we're going to do: we're going to go through and we're going to have gun dog obedience. We're going to be able to cover all those skills so the dog is calm and quiet. We're going to be able to go through gun dog socialization. This is stuff that most people don't go through, teaching your dog how to load into a boat, how not to be afraid of a gun, how to actually introduce your dog to gunfire and birds, uh, all of those different situations, new dogs, how to back with other dogs. I mean, these are all things that, that really most people don't pay a lot of attention to. But it'll pay big dividends for you if you actually get out there and do this gun dog socialization. We're going to cover that. And steadiness, which is my favorite, because above and beyond everything else, I want a dog that is steady. I don't want a dog that gets shot. I don't want a dog sitting in a duck blind when birds start falling. This dog is going bananas and chasing birds and all that other business. We just don't want to go there. Steadiness is how we're going to get there. And then we're going to go into the retriever training. And you really don't need to know a whole lot about retriever training. 
There's a few drills that you can run, and it'll cover the ground that you need to have a reliable retriever. Mm -hmm. And finally, we're going to end this segment on the working the upland birds because uh, a dog like Chief and a lot of wing shooters like to do waterfowl and upland birds. So we're going to show you how the dog flushes birds, how the dog should do a walk-up, and how the dog should quarter. So I, I'm really excited about doing it. I know Chief's excited about doing it. And uh, stick around because you're going to learn a lot. Well, you know, this is going to be very exciting. Not only are we going to do a couple of in-studio training segments, but we're also going to go out into the field. Uh, we're going to be visiting one of our friends, Harlan Starr, up at the Chattakee Lodge. We're going to be up there. We're going to be doing some outdoor segments, not only with um, Chief, but there may be some other dogs involved. Right. We're going to also have some other folks involved on how you train other people to train. And then we're going to mix in some actual hunts, not only some duck hunts, but maybe some upland bird hunts. So I'm so excited to get this program kicked off. It's going to go months and months. So I want you to stick around each week and come back and watch as Flip and his great dogs learn how to be great gun dogs.